Adam. 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 My mic wasn't recording the whole time. <laughs> Hey guys, so today we're going to be watching a movie called If I Stay. This is another film that not too many people requested. I did see a sprinkle of them over the times of looking through the comments. Anyways, today we're going to be watching If I Stay. It's based off of a book. I've already seen it. This used to be be like honestly I thought it was like kind of a good film when I was younger but let's see if my opinions have changed because I have not watched this in probably at least like a couple years probably not too long ago probably like in a year or two because I've seen this movie maybe two or three times and that's kind of a lot I don't know if I'm gonna like this movie because I remember like kind of enjoying it why are you playing no one told you to At the age of 26, Ludwig von Beethoven went deaf. It's like it's impossible for like book to movie adaptations to not start off with narration. Like they can't help it. The coffee maestro. Me too, I want some. No way, dude. You don't give crack to somebody who's already on speed. We act like we're on speed to, to hate us because we're beautiful. Well, we don't like you either. We're cheerleaders. We are cheerleaders. Bro, I'm cheerleaders. I'm Wobble with me. Okay, I gotta stop. Okay. That was Adam. 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 Said Portland had ever heard of his and band. leather jacket. Yeah, he was Wait. Those cheerleaders in the background didn't even have a uniform on. They just had a crop top and a and a polyester skirt. I'm still big red. Oh my god, oh my god. This her CGI That's face on it is so funny. They CGI'd her face onto another girl's body because she can't play the cello. If you like really pay attention, it looks so, it kind of scary. I noticed Adam hanging around while I was practicing my cello. My cello, dog. My cello, cello. Anyhow, is this Friday? I could pick you up. I could pick you up? Right. I think he's British in real life. Yeah, he looks kind of British or English, as they would say. They call proper English, man. I'm totally off the hook. What are we doing today, hmm? Dying! Dying! <sighs> Isn't it amazing how life is one thing and then... I do enjoy the music aspect part of this film, yeah. how the... Mia. The cello, the, about the, cello, the cello in the background the picks up. <laughs> Yeah, I liked that. I like I like the build up of the knees, like a little crash, a stop. Ooh, is she wearing a wig? Look kind of wiggy, wiggy wiggy. Hello. Mm, yeah, I kind of got a little confused by this part because I was like, is she like like it shows her going through, but I'm like, is it like a power she has, or is it just like some sort of consciousness second crunch? I don't know. Is she spinning or is the camera spinning? Shocker, they're both spinning. I mean, it's dramatic, but like, in a sense, I don't really understand it because they don't explain the like rules of her consciousness. It just shows that she's deciding whether she wants to die or live. Oh no, are they telling you old war stories? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's not a CGI head and I appreciate that a lot. Good cello scene. You gotta appreciate the great cello scenes, you know? One of my favorites is the one from Glee when Santana and Sebastian sing. When they sing Smooth Criminal with the cellist. You've been hit by, you've been struck by a smooth criminal. Well, I was certainly bred to be a rocker. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Did you hear that? He said, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I've always kind of felt like this awesome. in my family. Don't we all? Why me? 
because I like to watch you play. Connect the dots, girl. He likes you. Jeez. Why do I have this feeling you're about to mess up my entire life? Damn, girl. A little mess never hurt anybody. A little, oh my god, can he be like a little yeehaw boy? A little mess never hurt nobody. I don't even know what that accent was. It definitely wasn't country. <laughs> sweating it looks like the beginning of the concert okay they're kind of on the same level as no shampoo from lol imagine going to a rock concert and just being like Sweating so much. Thank you, good night. Oh, that was their ending performance. I thought that was the beginning of the concert. I was like, why is he sweating balls when it's the first song? Um, classical mostly. Right on. I love classic rock. <laughs> when you just don't fit in. Where is that? You in? I have my curfew. Curfew? Yeah. Why did he say it like that? Curfew? You got curfew you in high saying. school? Like he's he asked it like it's such an odd thing. Yo Adam, just piss or let's go, man. <laughs> Come on. What did, why did he pull her to the pull side her. like they, they were hidden now? Yeah. Nothing changed. See, they went over to the side like they were gonna hide each other. And hey, you finally got to meet Liz. Yeah. You two have a lot in common. We do have a lot in common. For instance, we're both into girls. She's with Astrid. Lesbian rights, I'll tell you that. Let's go, lesbians, let's go! I'm just saying, if you're... If you're, like, going to hang out with your boyfriend's friends, you might as well try to, like, bond with them a little bit. She's just like, I like classical. And she's like, classic rock? And she was like, okay, no one understands me. No one. I'm the odd ball out. It's like, girl. Hey, I was trying to look at that. How does she not realize that she's not there? Like, hey, that's me? But I should still be able to talk to people. You control this whole thing. If you live, if you die, it's all up to you. Yeah. Your organs have nothing to do with it. I just, like, if I heard that my doctor said that, what if some your doctor said that to you when you're just getting, like, your appendix out? Like, you're like, I'm just getting my appendix out, bro. Like, it's not that deep. Found loitering out front. Do we want them? Yes, the damn jacket's back. Oh, she's got a little Peter. Hungry. What's that called? A collar Peter Peter collar? What is that called? I have no idea what it's called. Oh, Oh, I remember this scene. This is where he sucks her finger. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh god, someone just stung me. Oh, who does that? <laughs> that acting was so bad. Oh, yeah. oh my god, who does that? Oh, who does that? And he sucks her freaking thumb. Got it. You really have to do that in front of everyone, bro? A true hero. You know, you should get stung more often. Yeah, I love kissing your hands. Sorry, what? Like He's like, maybe you should get stung somewhere else. You're so nasty, God. These horny monsters. <gasps> All these horny monsters. What the heck? This is a family get together. Why is it so sexual? Is that a threat? Sounds like a threat to me. Besides, it's too late. I'm already climbing. Hold on tight, spider monkey. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She locks the door. Who chillaxes in their jeans? Took him long enough. You're not my spider monkey. Why is he standing like that? Like he's about to get eliminated on Top Chef. Did you see the lip bite? That was great. Ooh, a nice little montage. I thought he had a frisbee. I thought they were gonna play frisbee. This movie was just spot on for this year 2014 this sums it up pretty well this sums up how people behaved <laughs> this is what everyone wanted that, that was the goal not that i need to find my family i like how it's like a mission like this is a she's a freaking the chosen one there are two types of people in this world Kim. those who like real coffee and those who like frou frou drinks with ridiculous. Uh, this oh, wow. is 2014. <laughs> this is it. Yeah, well, it kind of smells like Christmas threw up in your mug. I love these types of characters. That's for damn sure. These are this. These are 
complex characters that I love. Yes. Look at her in her blazer. Peter Pan collar. That's what it's called. Oh my God. Not a Peter collar. <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you. Well, you're He's a pirate. Beethoven. Oh. Why did I think he was a pirate? Hey, want a bone? <laughs> Come on, join the pit, girl. The best part. My neck hurt. Is the guy, is the drummer just have a hat on? What's the, what's that guy? He's just wearing a plaid shirt. I'm so confused by these costumes. There's so many people just wearing hats. Like they're not dressed up as anything, they're just wearing hats. The you you are now is the same you I was in love with yesterday, the same you I'll be in love with tomorrow. She's like, bro, I wanna have sex with you right now. Get it. Wow. He really does the bare minimum of just liking her the way she is and she's like, oh. It's perfect. It's kind of dark. So are you. Nice one. I will take your jacket off. I don't like it that the mic is so close and I can hear like the, the squeak of the fabric. I will take your jacket off. I love PG-13 sex scenes so much. That hand grab is a rule. You have to have it. And it cuts to her dying. It, the mood shifts in this movie is so weird. It's like, oh, just a little romantic teen's love story. She's dead. We have another one from the accident, Nurse Davis. He said status, and that really makes me feel weird. Status. That's right. <laughs> Get that ghost missed. out of here. Get that consciousness out of here. Your mind now, Daddy. What a weird thing to say. You're mine now. We're gonna make it. I think he's about to die, actually. Adam. 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 Being with Adam. Oh, the CGI head. <laughs> oh my god, the way it so swivels. <laughs> the way it just like floats. You could like feel it floating on her head. When he was in town, we spent all of our time together. Mm, getting it he on. I'm stuck at school for another or year. Not. I just don't know where these people are walking. Like every single time we we see a teen movie, they're, they're always walking somewhere, and I'm I just don't know. I don't know that many people that just walk like this everywhere. What do you mean I can't go in there? This is bullshit. Sure, you Literally, who there. are you, Adam? Adam. He's like I'm Adam. Maybe New York. I can't imagine Portland's where we're from. You know. You know what? There was a time where. In this year, 2014, everyone wanted to move to Portland, Oregon. I don't know why. It was just like a thing that people wanted to do. And I was like, why? What? Was it, oh, was she, she happy that she got in, but sad that she had to go away? I forget. There's a lot of people in this band. Did they add a new member? I swear they only had four. I played the Juilliard. He's like, what the fuck? Yeah. It's this amazing school. Yeah, she acts like he don't know what Juilliard is. <laughs> oh, I got an audition. I got an audition. Wow. Be a little bit more happy. So bored you have to read. Maybe you should have just stayed home. Oh, the tension is rising. For how long? I don't know, like a week, 10 days. Yeah, but we had plans. Remember for my birthday dinner? All oh, right, shit, sorry. Yo, what a dick. He sucks. I don't like him. Well, like you told me about Juilliard? Not the same thing. But okay. It's an audition. Which you didn't even tell me about, Mia. She told you about it after she got the audition. It's about you ditching on our plans. You're a liar. Whoa! Screw you, Adam. Yeah, screw him. I hate him. Fuck Adam. Not on the Adam team. Team Adam, no, no, no. Well, you get to follow your dreams, but I can't follow mine unless I have your permission. One minute is one thing, the next minute is the other. I grew up with that shit, okay? I don't I don't need it. It was like one time. <laughs> He's like losing his mind. All she didn't tell him was that she applied to get an audition. But Skype, it solves everything, right? You know, you're so naive, man. You don't know shit about the world. <laughs> <laughs> He's such a little dick. He sucks. You think Skype can fix a long distance relationship? Well, you're just a little idiot. Fine, but for the record, you're the one who's getting in the van. Yeah, whatever. Oh my God, he's, ooh, he's the biggest asshole ever. Oh my God. No lock on the bike? Girl, her bike stolen. It's gonna get stolen. I've never owned a bike, but come on. I know that shit will get stolen. Oh my god. He needs a bigger jacket. It's too small for him. What's that? It's a replica of Jalari Hall in San Francisco. He did that? You couldn't get some clear tape? Had to use the masking tape? Shut up and just open it. Come on. Is it a little bracelet with a little cello on it? 
It's a cello and a guitar. You and me forever, baby. Did you get it? Do you get it? What's there not to get? You knew that nothing else mattered. Till now. Till you. <gasps> and now she's dying again. Yeah. What a cute moment and she's dying. Give me that CGI head. Yes. That sounds kind of funky. Give me that CGI head. I just love the way it just floats and it's so disproportionate. You can tell that it's not her body at all. <laughs> I just love the thought of watching someone just sit there and make the facial expressions. Like I'm just imagining Chloe Grace Moretz just being like, That's a really beautiful song, Adam. He's getting there. Why did that sound so fake? That was a really beautiful song, Adam. And if not? I don't like it when people hug someone's shoulder so tight that their arm just hangs in front of them like that. Like, I hate the way that looks. Like, it's just like wafting in front of their body. I can do this. I'm gonna watch out, he's gonna get jealous again. Why aren't you? Call me after the audition to brag. She's telling you right now, bro. I don't want to fight, okay? I know, I don't want to fight. But it, you just started a fight, stupid idiot. I hate, don't like him. I hate him. Well, you play better than you have in your entire life. We should celebrate. Why do you so Why do you say it like it's a chore? Like, be supportive. So how come you never written a song for me? Oh, oh, come on. God, I'm such an asshole. No, Adam, don't. You are. You're the worst person ever. Worst person I know. To be honest, you kind of suck ass. Willow, why aren't you a teddy? And another one bites the dust. Jesus Christ. They just keep dropping like flies. Even if we're in different places, you'll still be with me. No, that's not good enough. Not Skyping. He has a very strong grudge against Skyping. Like, he is so mad at it. Imagine being like on the ground when that beer cup comes flying down you're like what the fuck it's raining beer like oh they always pull her hair to the side because they don't want to deal with the hair in the cgi process too oh i just know her head don't fit on there <laughs> i just know it's not her body just don't show her face don't do it yo imagine being their neighbors <laughs> You're like, bro, shut the fuck up. It's Labor Day, not not freaking Christmas. Why are you so loud? Who actually celebrates Labor Day like this? I don't know anyone that celebrates Labor Day like it's freaking 4th of July. That's what happiness felt like. Yo, she can time travel? She's incredible. Her supernatural abilities is undeniable. Like, they're so strong and great. Okay, <laughs> that shot is <laughs> so unnecessary. This looks like a church ad. Believe in Jesus today, yes. This is how you'll feel if you believe in Jesus. I love it. Look at the bottom of her feet, bro. Yo, that was like, that shit was like black. <gasps> is that allowed? <laughs> Are you allowed to just throw on some headphones onto a patient? Okay, I'll move to New York. I'll do whatever you want. Okay, I know you want to die, but... Just please stay. I'll move to New York with you. I will do anything if you stay. If you stay! Breathe deep, breathe deep. <laughs> I can imagine just me no, in the ICU and you just hear no, this. I... You're like... It... Is that allowed? To just start just disturbing the whole hospital like that? How could I hold like yours and love a heart like mine? This song is good. What is happening? Are there gunshots in the background? She's back. Oh. Oh my god. Take my mind and take my pain. 
God, I love the soundtrack for this. Well, they had to have a great soundtrack when your whole movie is based around two characters that are musicians. You kind of have to have the best soundtrack ever. Like, that's just a rule. Okay, yeah, this movie I'm kind of indifferent on because the whole thing is basically her deciding if she wants to stay alive, go through the trauma of grieving her mom, dad, and brother, but then she would be alive to go to Juilliard, be with her boyfriend, stay with her best friend and her grandpa and her grandma. So the concept of it is kind of cool. It's for a YA genre film. That whole concept of death and the decision that she makes, I think is kind of cool. But I don't know, like what would you guys do? Would you guys just say bye? Or would you guys be like, I want to stay with my boyfriend? The movies makes me kind of sleepy. A lot of emotional talks, a little too many in my opinion. And I know it's an emotional movie, but like it was just again and again and I if I saw this in a theater I'd probably fall asleep. Chloe Grace Smarts does a pretty good job on it. There are some parts where I question her, um, especially just the bee singing part. I feel like that one was just out of all the scenes to not do a good performance in, it had to be that one where she's like, Ugh! A bee? Gosh darn it. The fact that she stays because of what he says is bonkers to me because he was nothing but an asshole throughout the entire film he had his good moments but like bro the times where he threw a fit were so irrational and annoying that i was like girl you got an audition to juilliard and this fool's talking about how you lied to him when you didn't even lie to him you told him you got an audition to juilliard like and he throws a little fit and then he like gets mad at her because she wants to like follow her dreams and then he's like i can follow my dreams you cannot. Some people really like this. I'm sure the book is better. You don't have to tell me. I, I can just, you know, I, I understand that already from now. I don't think it's a bad movie. It, it kind of gets a little confusing with the whole like, uh, the taunt her like ghosty there. Like, is she ghost? Like, how does it work? Like, the consciousness like is there and it's not there and it like I know you're probably like trend like you watch all these types of supernatural shows and you can't grasp this but I'm just saying the 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 way it is portrayed it leaves so much room for interpretation because there's no rules on it there's no type of uh boundaries for it that you're like oh but like she's like a consciousness but she's not a ghost she's she's not a ghost she's still alive her body's there but her conscious is there it's not supernatural but it like kind of is it's like a supernatural thing that like doesn't want to admit that it's supernatural like it's just like oh no like this is just like a concept it's an artsy concept but like come on like she's like practically like a half ghost that's it She's a half ghost, deal with it. This is a ghost film, it's a horror film. <laughs> I don't know, let me know your guys' thoughts on if I stay in the comment section down below. Did you guys really like this movie? Did you not like the movie? Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at tkalevel and subscribe for more videos from me and you can even turn on the notifications bell if you wanna be notified every single time I upload. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in my next video. Bye.